All right, here we go. Season three of The Walking Dead, episode four, Thicker Than Water. When community is turned from within, Javi, Javier manages Javier manages unlikely alliances for the safety of his loved ones. All right, let's let's explore this place, baby. Oh, okay, I've got it. Answer that a couple times. We start the episode. Previously on The Walking Dead. No! You monsters! Garcias, oh, you, you, you took my goddamn guts out. No, let's let him turn. It's only right. I can tell you best Joan like that. was in on it. We did it on her orders. I'm, I'm sorry. It is too late for sorry, you backstabbing shitbag. I'll help you. I'll, I'll tell everyone in Richmond about this. Maybe he'll be useful. Thank you. Thank you. I needed that. I'd hold it there, folks. And I'd consider explaining yourselves. I asked you to get Kate and Gabe safe, not tuck your tail and run. This is not over, Joan. I have friends here, allies. Oh, it's a flashback. Was that, uh, was that a carnival? Oh, faster with Javier. Oh, David. Damn it. Strike one. I'm out of practice, that's all. Yeah, same here. I haven't held a bat since the league booted me. Well, you got all afternoon to get back in your groove. <sighs> oh yeah. Just holding this thing makes me feel better. You doing okay? Uh, I've been wrestling with something. Hey! Hey man, you're Javier Garcia, right? The ball player? Can I get your autograph? <laughs> if you could sign my baseball, that would be so awesome. I, I watch you play all the time. Sure thing, kid. Oh, man! Thank you! Who do I make this out to? Oh, no, no. N no names. Band player signatures are worth way more on resale than personalized crap. Oh, you shit. Just your name is fine. You got it. D don't date it or anything. <laughs> Worthless. <sighs> what the hell is this? 
You want to make money? Get a job. <sighs> Whatever. Got to keep those fans happy, big star. Let's get back to baseball. Crush it, swing into this. Let's crush. Well, it's out of here. Holy cow! You just had to rub it in, didn't you? Does talking like that make you feel better? Yeah. You should try it. <sighs> Son of a bitch! Strike two. Man, knock that shit off. I'm serious. You just talk, talk, talk. It's annoying. Jeez, you gotta learn to relax, David. What do you suggest? Put some money on it? You know I don't do that anymore. I still can't believe you actually wanted to come here. If I were in your situation, I'd avoid batting cages forever. Well, thanks for bringing me anyway. I needed the distraction. All right. You know what? It's last one you missed. This is for David. See? We all have off days. Come on, man. Don't start sucking on my account. Next time, we go to the shooting range. I don't really shoot. But I do. And I'm good at it. Ow! Fuck! You gotta shut up! Stupid thing. My arm's throbbing. Oh, come on. Don't be a wuss. <laughs> I used to tell you the same thing. You did? Yeah. Back when we were younger. I remember I showed you how to play this game. Well, let this superstar return the favor. Watch this. Time we're gonna crush it. Oh my god, the crowd is going wild. I got it. You don't have to rub it in my face. I'm done. David. You're leaving already? You said you were happy, so I'm done here. Come on, I thought we'd hang out all day. I'm not gonna spend all day as your cheerleader. You're a grown-up, and I've had enough. What's going on? David, I, I don't understand. You don't understand because you only think about yourself. And I'm sick of it. It's been that way for years. You've always been looking out for yourself. Oh, take a breath. I'll hear you out, but this doesn't have to be an argument. I'm worried about you, man. I can't be the star's older brother anymore. I gotta go where I can be my own man. My job sucks. Kate and I fight like cats and dogs. I belong back in the army. I had a purpose there. I had respect. Last time you deployed, you didn't have kids. So, whatever you do now, you gotta put them first. I am putting them first. That's why I have to leave. Things between me and Kate have been going downhill for a while. But if I left, it seemed like that would be best for everyone. I can't keep pretending this is the life I want. Not anymore. No, the kids are too young for you to leave them. You gotta be around to, you know, coach them on stuff. What the hell do you know about raising children, Hobby? I'm not gonna lie. If I go, it's gonna be hard on everyone. Kate may need help from time to time. You can help, right? You won't leave her hanging? I need to know that. In my mind. I'll be there for them, since you won't. If you want to go, you should go. <sighs> Thank you. I really mean it. We good? Yeah. We good. Come on. Let's get out of here. Buy your beer. Get in there, you two. 
Joan's gonna figure out what to do with you. She's making a huge mistake. No, you made a mistake when you tried to attack her. Hey, everybody just take a breath, all right? I was just trying to tell them- And that's your mistake right there. You can't fight everybody. Understand that Joan's not looking for revenge. She just wants order. Cooperation is the name of the game. There's still a way through this, but you've got to let Joan enforce the laws. You do anything she tells you to do, huh? Go along with whatever she says just to keep your place? It's not like that. Joan's got a tough job. She needs all our help to keep this place safe. You boys want to make it out of here. Just relax and trust in the process. Teacher's pet. After I brought you in, after I saved your asses, this is how you treat me. Betrayal? Lies? David, I'm not your enemy. We have to figure out what to do about Joan. Joan's betrayal wasn't as bad as yours, little brother. Oh, you fucking... Do you see what Joan's doing? This is a power grab, pure and simple. I could have found a way to protect all of you. But now? Now you're all on your own. You gotta still have some friends here, right? She managed to flip Clint and Lingard to her side somehow. Without them, it's hopeless. It's everyone out for themselves these days. Joan played you. And that sucks. I get it. But now you've got to stop sulking. And decide what you're going to do about it. I already had a plan and you ignored it. I did the best I could. Can't say I never tried. I have always given 100%. Oh yeah? Tell that to Kate. You left her behind once already. Maybe it's time you try a different way. Shut up! <clears throat> you're dead to me. If we get out of here, you're on your own. I'm through with you. I gotta retaliate. <clears throat> Typical brothers. Fighting like boys. You bitch. I fucking trusted you! Careful! Don't give him a concussion. I came here to talk, not fight. You're not gonna be a problem, are you? I just want a calm discussion. Between us. I won't be a problem if you let us go. In fact, I may even be friendly. I'm sorry. I can't do that. <laughs> but I like what you're trying to do. It's sad how we ended up here. But Clinton Lingard agree. You've become a problem. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to call for a gathering in the square. The people deserve to hear a full explanation of your arrest. And then? Then you'll be replaced as head of security. No one's above the law, David. Not even you. I know the laws, Joan. You're the one breaking them. This place could have been something. Something good. And you ruined it. This place needs me to keep it safe. You set me up. Everyone's gonna see through your lies. I did what I had to do to keep the people of Richmond safe. They're going to see that. And they'll also see that the biggest threat to them right now is you. Bullshit! I understand you're angry with me. But let's talk about it in private. Bring him with us. Screw this. Gotta get out of here. Uh, well, slim chance. The, slim chance left it open. Getting out through here. No time to rest. That doesn't look very sturdy. Ooh, lock your sails. What's 
inside. Uh, nothing useful here. Could squeeze through there. Hmm. I'm not gonna get up there from this bench. Weapon. Use. Well, that's about the kind of day I'm having. Guards. Barely. We gotta get you out of here. Take this. Help me pry these bars off. Uh, shit. Give it a push from your side. Thanks, Kate. Now, give me a hand. What's all that noise? It's hurt. They've got this place surrounded. Oh shit. Come on. This way. Where are you taking me? Eleanor found a place. Gabe's there with the others. We've been hiding out there. For as long as we can anyway. Is Gabe all right? He'd rather be charging in to save David right now. But I convinced him to be cautious. We should probably keep moving. Where are the patrols? Oh, they're around. I had some close calls on my way to find you. Almost got caught. But I got lucky. You must be feeling better if you're sneaking around like this. I'm not, really. But I'll get my rest when we're safe. All clear. Come on. I saw them take David from the quarantine building. Yeah. How's he doing? I can't be his wife anymore. He doesn't deserve to be locked away. I didn't tell him anything about how you feel. He's going to figure it out eventually. Maybe. But he's busy with more important things right now. I just want to be his wife anymore. Hold up. I think it's clear. Let's move. Okay, lead the way. They want me more than you. If they spot us, don't be afraid to leave me behind. That's not going to happen.
That's Eleanor's place. There's a lot of activity all of a sudden. I don't like this. Come on. Let's get inside. Frontier, so forth. And they're being all dramatic, set up a stage home. Huh? It's gotta be perfect for Queen Jen. It's down here. Not that hard to get a milk crate and just speak to your people. Hell fun on stage. No mercy. No mercy. No mercy. Without meaning it. Thicker than water. Now, I've been thinking hard about this, and I really think we should be a thing. I'm sorry. I don't know if I feel like that. That way. Hey, buddy. It's good to see you, Avi. Really, your goofy face and everything. It's great to see you, Gabe. I didn't expect to see you again so soon. Yeah, well, things have changed. I just can't do this now. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Kim hey. was confessing his love uh, hey. to Eleanor. Trip, look who's here. Hey, guys. Uh, hey. <clears throat> Where have you been? Joan threw me and David in jail, if you can believe it. Great. So you gave these people more reason to hate us. What is going on here in Richmond? You know more about this place than the rest of us. What do we do? We just can't trust Joan. She's trying to remove David from power by pinning murders on him. I told you we couldn't trust him. I want to go save my dad, right now. He needs our help. We need a plan first. Javi. Make sure it's the way to go. Good. The last time you scrapped the plan and got yourself caught. Fair enough. So we got to make sure we don't screw this up. Have you guys even looked out the window? Go look for yourself. Javi, even if you did get your brother free, you're not going to be able to go anywhere. Wow. As much as I don't want to be here... You sure are glad we didn't stumble into that on our own? <sighs> Fuck. Yeah. Damn, it's Can you up. imagine? We dodged a bullet, didn't we? Yeah. 
I think we got luckier than I even want to think about right now. It seems like we're in danger within this place and without. I, for one, would feel a whole lot safer with a few more guns to protect ourselves. That the smartest move to make right now? <laughs> That's crazy. If we're really going to make it out of here, we have to be ready to shoot our way out, right? Yeah, right. Good. I know where there's guns. My dad showed me. There are lots. I can take us. Okay. Sounds like a plan. We'll get back here as soon as we can. Good luck. Come here. Kate, I... Just be careful. Look, Javi, I, I don't know if you heard us, but I think I fucked it up with Eleanor. We can talk on the way. I, about that, I, I don't think I can leave this apartment with things like this between me and her. It's just not right. I know you must have at least heard something. You know what I mean? It happens, especially these days. Don't worry about it. Thanks. Just... Shouldn't have pushed it with her like I did. Wasn't fair. Too much going on already, right? Javi, come on! Just give us a minute, pal. I'm sorry, buddy. I just I don't know what to do. Just follow your heart. That's all any of us have left anymore, right? Thanks, man. I'll talk it over with Eleanor and watch over things here. You've got my word. I won't let anything happen to anyone. Thank you. Javi, come on. Good luck. Stay alert. Be careful. You'll be fine. Okay. This'll be great. We got this. Slow down, buddy. I've done this before, Hobby. No, you haven't, Gabe. Not really. Some decisions, you make them in a split second, and then have to carry them the rest of your life. You understand? What do you mean, Hobby? Just be careful. People aren't muertos. They can shoot at you. I know. Then you know to be quiet and stay hidden. So, we stay hidden and quiet? If we can just slip past quietly, it'll make our job a lot easier. Okay. We don't want to make any noise and attract any attention. Hey, I can go talk to him while you sneak inside. I'll distract him. You won't do anything to me. I'll tell him I saw something suspicious. Yeah. I can do this. No, it's too dangerous. We can lure him away some other way or find another way in. I can do this. Gabe, wait! Hey! Oh, hey. I saw something. Show me. Alright, so you gotta, oh, so you gotta do it either way.
See? You gotta trust me more. I know what I'm talking about. It's like, nah, bro. Not happening. It's down here. The guns are through that door. Locked. No time to look for a key either. Have to do this the hard way. Three's the charm. Nice. Put these in your bag. We never done this before. Just you and me. We make a pretty good team, right? The uncle nephew one two punch. It's not over yet. We need to keep our heads in the game. Ah, oh, you're right. Ah, oh, shit. Drop it! What the hell are you doing here? What are you doing with all that? We're trapped here in town. There's a herd at the gates. No matter what's going on out there, I need to be able to protect my family. Javier, that herd is the least of your fucking problems right now. It was a shit thing to do, fucking off on me like that. I know. I... Why didn't you meet me at the stronghold? We had a plan. I just can't be a part of what's going on in New Richmond. The lying and the stealing. You sound just like your brother. I know he'd want me to help you, no matter what. But why should I trust you now? As far as I can tell, you're nothing but trouble. Because what Joan is doing is wrong. I guess I can't really say no to that. And it looks like you could use all the help you can get. Awesome. I gotta grab something else real quick. Meet me by the front at five. Okay. Okay. We convinced her, huh? Oh, okay, we got the bags. Okay, you forget them. Come here. Better. Or really, yeah. Really? What the fuck, Gabe? Bro, we're oh, hiding. Damn it, Gabe! Does it fucking look like I'm okay? Oh, I'm sorry. Stay hidden. Jeez, I can't leave you guys alone for two minutes, can I? He's still alive? Yeah. Just passed out. 
starting to think siding with you might have not been the best idea. Toss Sleeping Beauty in the closet so nobody sees him. Let me see that wound. It's really bleeding. You're gonna need that taken care of. Shit. No, it's okay. Lingard and David are close friends. We can count on him to help you. Medical facilities right nearby. It'll be quiet this time of night, too. Okay, but let's be quick. Can they really hit targets over a mile away? Not these, but some models. Javi, it's probably best if Lingard doesn't see these guns. He and David might be tight, but he's still part of Richmond's leadership council. I'll keep watch with Ava. Okay. Do any of them have laser sights? Clem? <gasps> Shit, Javi, what happened to you? Ran into a little trouble. Wow, that looks like it must have hurt. I just need to get it cleaned up. You surprised me. Thought you were someone else. Thought you'd be long gone by now. <sighs> so did I. But I still need to talk about AJ with Lingard. Look at him. Damn. He's anyway, out of it. I can't leave Richmond with that herd out there. Something tells me Lingard doesn't care what you're doing. He's been out of it since I got here. Hi, it's on supply He's again. Alive. Poor dumb bastard. That's gonna need more than just cleaning, Javi. I can stitch that for you. I can't promise it'll look great once it heals. It's better than nothing, though. Now we have to lose. All right. Go for it. But if I lose my arm, that's on you. Ha ha. You'll be fine. I've dealt with worse. Huh. Let me see if I can find a needle and thread for that. <clears throat> Clem, are you okay? I'm fine. I started bleeding. I know, it's a thing. I've traveled with women before, and, and they all had it. What is it? I mean, like, why is it... I just don't understand. It means you're growing up. Blossoming into your, you know, like, womanhood. Your body is, is developing, and then things change, but it, it'll be okay. Okay. I can take you back to Kate. She can help you with, uh... Javi, worry about yourself right now. We need to find a needle and thread to stitch you up first. Oh, uh, right. Wake up! Talk to me! Wow, that guy is really out of it. Jackpot. Needle and thread. All sterilized and ready to go. Cody. Hmm. Not much left. It looks like painkillers are in high demand. I wouldn't steal any medicine if I were you. It really doesn't go over well. Damn. Well, these could come in handy. Penicillin. Not what I'm looking for. Here we go. 
Oh, for um, Gus Clem. Oh, is that, is that working computer here? Wow. Just pills. Hey, this is just what you're looking for. They help you handle it. Kate will take care of you. I think I remember how to do this. <sighs> okay, hold still. Try not to breathe. Look, I know I'm probably not the best person to talk to about that stuff before. You weren't that bad. Thanks for, you know, being here. Basically, all this means is you could become a mom, if you want it. Funny. I already felt like a mom. Even Ava would have to admit, I was a good mom to AJ. Come out, who's there? Draw a knife. Whoa there, Clem. It's just me. What the hell do you want? I'm really glad I found you. Clementine, I know this is hard. I'm so sorry about what happened with AJ. Really, I am. What happened wasn't easy for any of us. Tell me he's okay. Please. He's as good as he can be. Which isn't great. Look, it's not much, but... Here. G bar, I think. Uh, yes, bottle water. Here. For chili and beans. Oh, he's all oh, ages doodle. We're just drawing. David wanted you to have that. AJ drew it just after you... It calmed him down. <sighs> this... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Consider it a peace offering? We care about you. Just try to remember that even if it feels wrong, people can still be trying to do the right thing by you. Listen. It's dangerous out here, and right now, you're hurting. Whatever you do, you can't let what happened get to you. You need to keep a level head. Plan for after that. You're strong, but that won't get you far if you don't know what you're doing. Or where you're headed. Oh, I'll keep fighting. You guys gave me no other choice. It's not time for that anymore, Clem. 
Your focus has to be on you now. That's all you can do. For me, staying alive has always been about finding people I could trust as much as they trusted me. That's what the new frontier has been. A silver lining. Made me feel worth a damn. Kept me going in the worst of times. You'll find yours. I know you will. Someone or something. Oh, yeah. They're out there. The... I used to have Lee. You never mentioned him. He took care of me for a while. Every time I would look at AJ, I could hear him in my head. Helping me. Guiding me. He's still with you, you know. Here. So is AJ. From the first time we met, right here, surrounded by absolute hell. You and AJ were a light in the darkness. Hope for a better world. That's who you are. Promise me you'll never lose that light. Please. It's what makes you special, Clem. It's what keeps the rest of us going. Okay, I promise. You're a tough kid. Don't change. <sighs> I should get back before anyone notices I'm gone. Remember to keep the focus on you now, Clem. And when you need a little extra support, there's an old airfield about ten or so miles south of here. Prescott. There are good people there. I'm sure they'll help you out. I'll miss having you around, Clem. You're going to be okay. Thanks, Ava. Good luck out there, Clem. That's what keeps me going. There's things I have to stay alive to do. <sighs> so, what do you think? I think I'm getting better. Nice work. Thanks. Just glad I could help. You coming? I still have to ask Lingard about AJ. <sighs> Hello, Clementine. Oh, he's awake. Okay. Javier. Thought you were rotten in a cell with David. There any chance he got out too? I hate to think about what Joan might do to him. Despite all her pleasantries, She's a cruel bitch. Joan took him before I got out. I haven't seen him since. That poor bastard. He's... He's not getting out. Guess there's only one... sure way to get away from Joan these days. Why do you care if David got out? He deserves what's coming to him. If you think that, you don't know David. I know he's the reason I lost AJ. When AJ recovered, David was the one who stepped up. Took personal responsibility for that kid. You say that like it's a good thing. I really doubt he was a positive influence. David's the reason the kid's better off now than, than he's ever been. You can be as mad as you want about how, about how things panned out. The fact of the matter is, David's been good for AJ, among others. Clem is AJ's family. No kid is better off when you break their family apart. Maybe you're right. Maybe AJ should be with Clem. All I know is that he's better than he was when he got here. No thanks to you or David. I stand by what I said. If David's taken such good care of him, why did he tell me to ask you where AJ is? That's what this is about, then. You... You want to know where the boy is?
What do you want? I... I just want to die. Ooh. I want you to inject this into me. He's in that stage, yeah, I can see it in his eyes and his voice. Hang in there. Tomorrow's another day. I, I can't. When your brother found me, he... He got me to care about everything I'd given up on. My life. Other people. Even this goddamn place. Without him around. I don't want to care anymore. Just tell me where he is! Then you won't have any reason to do it. to know I've been looking for too long I can't lose him now not when I'm this close all right for Clem all right I'll do it well where is he he's he's at the McCarroll ranch a few miles west of here. He's really alive. Don't forget to stick around to handle the after part. Hmm, that makes sense. He already to told what AJ was. We still stuck. Like the knee wasn't in it. In it was not in his skin. Don't forget, Jones yeah, looking story. for you and your friend. You better hope she doesn't. I've got it. Huh. Finally. Oh, hey. Uh, hi, Clementine. Surprised to see you here. Yeah, right back at you. You all good? Yeah, we're all set. Let's roll. Mm, good to see you. Clementine. Thanks for the warm welcome. Just surprised to see you is all. Guys, this is Ava. Oh She's... yeah, I know who she is. She's got a hell of a punch. Nice to meet you. Good to see you, Ava. Oh, hell. You okay? Yeah. It looks worse than it is. Don't worry about it. Kate's lying down in the other room for a bit. So you got the guns, huh? We got them, all right. One for you, and one for you. I saved this one for you. No, I've already got one. Actually, it wouldn't hurt to have another. Uh. Thanks. What took you so long? We went to see Dr. Lingard. At night? I'm kind of surprised he was sober. It's got to be a stressful job. Looking after an entire community? Can't say I approve of the way he blows off steam, though. He was definitely not 100% there. That's for sure. Sounds about right. Why don't you go talk to Kate, OK? OK. The sun will be rising in a few hours. Jones' people know we're holed up here, and they're gonna come looking for us. 
All of us. Ah, for fuck's sake. Maybe it's not as bad as we think, fucking figures. And there's no going anywhere with those things blocking our exit. They like me, that has to help somehow. Just because they like you, doesn't mean they're gonna like the rest of us. We're sitting ducks up here. We can't just wait around here to get shot, that's for damn sure. We have to help my dad. Hey, we can do this. Yeah! We've gotten out of tougher jams before, haven't we? I mean, sure. But this is different. We can't just cut and run. Not with the herd out there. Like it or not, we're fucking stuck in Richmond. Now, how the fuck are we gonna put the brakes on this thing? Joan and her people are going to be at the square, right? We need to bring the fight to them. We go after Joan, our problems are solved. Great. So, how do we do that? It's a good question. Joan will probably have a full security detail with her. She'll be insulated from us and from anybody in Richmond who doesn't agree with what she's doing. We move in fast, guns blazing, and we take her out. Couple of bullets, problem solved. After we take Joan out, we're gonna need some way out of this mess. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm not much of a runner. We've got a truck, a big one, that we used to use for walker defense. It's a little busted up, but it's way better than nothing. People are gonna be patrolling these streets looking for us. How far away is this truck? I'll show you. We, uh, yeah, Joan We've been be expanding, dead. pushing out further, making the safe zone even bigger. Can't promise you they've cleared all the walkers yet, but that's where the truck's parked. I could spit and hit it. We steal that thing, nothing will be able to stop us. Steal what? Hey. Jesus, Javi, is that blood on your shirt? You said it wasn't that bad. It isn't. How the hell did this happen? Oh, you're bleeding right through that bandage. You should have told me as soon as you got in. It's not deep, it's just bled a lot. Besides, it's already taken care of. Clementine sewed me up back at the doctor's. You still didn't answer my question. What happened? He got stabbed, okay? By one of the guards. Thought you knew what you were doing. You're still alive, aren't you? Eleanor, can you take a look at this? As long as he keeps it clean, it should be okay. Would you guys stop making such a big deal about it? It happened. It's over. Move on already. I'm just trying to make sure he's okay, Gabe. What we need to be talking about is the plan. Oh, I have a bunch of ideas. I want to be the one to go after Dad. Just give me a gun and I'll do whatever. I know the town. I know what Dad's going to be thinking. Hey, 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 slow down, would you? You're getting way ahead of yourself. Who's to say you're even coming along, kid? Are you fucking kidding me? Ugh, this is bullshit! I'm not staying behind. Gabe, take a breath. He's my dad. I'm going. It's going to be dangerous out there, and I don't want anyone else getting hurt. If we get to save dad, then getting hurt is worth it. It's worth dying for. This is more important to me than anyone else. I've got a gun, and I know how to use it. No way anybody is dying. Not today. That's why we have to take the time to talk it through. So everybody comes out okay. Nobody here is gonna let you be a martyr, Gabe. Your life is precious. Okay, so you want to dive bomb Joan and save the day. Do we have to leave? This place is comfortable. Hell yeah, we're out of here. A handful of people against everyone out there. Everything out there. That's doable, probably. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is going to be hard, but it's possible. If we stick to what we said we'd do. We've got the guns, we've got a plan, and soon we're gonna have that truck. Hell, I'm still in. I promised David I'd always have his back. Let's do it. Without Conrad, you guys need me, and you know it. Sure as hell seems that way. Me, Clem, Kate, and Gabe will go after the car. Me and Eleanor, we'll get some supplies together. Here, take a walkie. I'll let everyone know when things kick off. Ava, you take the other one and keep checking in, no matter what. I'll get my stuff and meet you at the square. Okay, let's move out.
Now here we go, the plan set in motion. Time to execute. Clem, you come with me to get the truck. Gabe and Kate, you guys hang back here. Be ready for anything. Let's go. I think I should go with you, actually. That wasn't the plan, Gabe. Actually, I was kind of hoping you'd be willing to watch my back on this one. Don't want to get surprised while I'm out there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How fast has changed his mind? <laughs> Somebody needs to be a lookout. What? Nothing. Gabe and I won't be fine back here. What's up? Listen, I appreciate your enthusiasm, but if we don't work together as a team, we all fail. You don't have to say anything. I get it. I shouldn't have freaked out. I was sick of being pushed aside. I hope... You can trust me again. I'll do whatever you need me to do. But Javi? Yeah? Quit treating me like a kid. What's going on? Thanks. For what? Helping out with Gabe. He's having a rough time. Yeah, we all are. I'm just doing what I can. Let's keep looking for that truck. You got it. Guess they'll be using that for construction once they've cleared this area. Thirty, but only room for one. There it is. Let's go. What are the chances? I'd say about fifty fifty. All right, let's give it a shot. Smart ass. Oh shit. People keep getting pushed onto other projects. Hell yeah, this graveyard ship is killing. Oh, let me get to it. Early risers. Come on, we gotta hurry and finish before more people wake up. What are we gonna do? We can't start the engine. Not without attracting a lot of attention. Kate, you steer. The rest of us are going to get behind the truck and push. See if we can't get some distance between us and them. Ready? Ready. Ready. There we go. <laughs> D 
turns out you needed me after all, huh? I'm just saying, I know you didn't want me to come along. If I'd stayed behind, uh, now's the right time. Just push the truck, bro. Wouldn't have been able to get the truck. Just push the damn truck. All right. What do you think I'm doing? I'm doing all the work. You're the one trying to have a conversation here. That's more like it. I don't think those guys will be able to hear the engine all the way over here. I put it in neutral. Couldn't find an ignition key in there. Guess you'll have to hotwire it. Try not to shock yourself. Okay. Shit. I'll need something to strip the wires. They left all their supplies lying around. Bet there'll be some tools out there somewhere. Just try to hurry, okay? Oh, right there, there's a toolbox. Keep an eye out while I get it started, okay? I'll check on the guys in the office. Clem and I will look out for walkers. Okay. Here goes. This baby open. Wire cutter should help with this. battery to the ignition. Let there be light. The square is a couple of blocks away. This is a good place to wait. Do we have enough gas? Well, I'm not about to turn the engine off again. What now? We wait for Ava to call us on the walkie. So, nothing for us to do but sit and watch the sun come up. Well, I know we've got something important to do. I'm teaching you to play Euchre. <laughs> That's not a real thing. <laughs> it's a card game. Come on, it's fun. It's nice to be driving around with a couple kids in the back seat again. Really Where takes you back, together? doesn't it? Just you and me and Gabe no, and Mari. Better times. You're right. This is nice. Like if I just close my eyes, we're right back where we were. All of us together. Do what I do. Try to think about the nice stuff. Not everything that happened after. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. That's not even a good rule. Still gotcha. Guess he stopped playing it cool with her. Hmm? Uh, in case you haven't noticed, 
Abe's got a little crush on Clementine. Oh, really? <laughs> he light likes her. You get it? Well, okay, I sort of am. Okay, so I'm gonna deal the I hope it works out for them. The I really do. They're good for each other. I think. I think their first official date will be target practice. Then skimming and eating a wild animal. Ugh, young love. It's so normal, you know? Like, as crazy as things get, as terrible and tragic and just plain stupid, there's nothing more wonderfully ordinary as two kids falling for each other. Not that they're there yet, but to feel something that intensely for another person, kind of like the best drug there is. Well, one of the best drugs. Is it bad if I kind of envy them? Those early days, before you get up the courage to say exactly what's on your mind? You never get those back, do you? No. No, you don't. It's unfair, that's all I'm saying. That they're feeling what they're feeling right now, and when that sun gets a little higher, it's right back to the fight. I just wish he could have had a childhood, you know? I wish I could have given them that. Him and Mari, both. They deserved better than this. Better than what got handed to them. To do that. That's why we're doing this thing, right? So he can have a better life after everything's said and done? You're right. I know you're right. I hope you know, Javi, having you there with me, right by my side, all this time, that's what made the difference. You're so sure of what you're doing all this for. You didn't run away. You could have, but you didn't. I'm here so I can set an example for people, for Gabe especially, someone to be proud of. Someone who sticks around. I get it. There's no graceful way to say this, so I'm just gonna say it. I know we've had moments, you and I. And they're always a little hot and a little confusing. And maybe some of them haven't meant anything at all. But... Before whatever happens tomorrow happens, I need you to know, whatever this thing is between us, I want to give it a chance. And I know the fact that David is back in our lives now makes this whole thing a little more complicated. But do you feel the same way? I'd really like to know before things get crazy. We might not get another chance. <laughs> no pressure or anything, all right? We'll be together ever since, and uh, well, maybe I should have stayed just... quiet. Let's go for it. We gotta try, right? Oh my God! Really? Really. So are we gonna? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Shit. We're doing this. You do realize we're gonna have to have a weird conversation with David, right? It's the right way to play this. He already got the sense I was pulling away. I just want to be able to tell him in person. It'll feel better that way. That would be the stand-up thing to do in this situation. Can I just say how lame doing the stand-up thing is, though? Oh, it's super lame. Javi, it's an execution over here. She's planning to hang David in front of the whole crowd. You've got to get over here now. Don't bring the truck. If they see it, they'll kill him right away. If you can just get into the square... Shit. we got to get over there. Now. here with the truck keep the walkie close by we'll tell you as soon as we've got david all right we're good luck for a thing now nothing else from ava nope 
And it sounds like a crowd out there. It sounded like Ava got cut off by something. Or somebody. Wish we had some idea of what we're heading into. Like, is the whole plan shot? Or did she just have a little setback? I hate not knowing. Could be Trip and Eleanor had second thoughts about this whole thing. It's not their fight. Maybe. No way. They wouldn't have done that to us. You never know with some people. We're not gonna know what went wrong until we actually do this thing. So, let's do it already. You ready? We just have to remember. We're people. Not muertos. We're smarter than they are. And we need to act like it. Exactly. We've got to take the time to think things through. Dictator now. Years, can we? For years now, Richmond has been governed by one simple principle. Strong council, strong community. But, unfortunately, the actions of one of the members of that council, our security expert, David Garcia, have put us all She's in danger. She's lying to all of you. I'm sorry to have to show you this. Truly, I am. But you all need to see. Just look what he's done. David ordered his brother and the rest of his people to kill our doctor. And they were happy to do it. Is this who we want in charge? Someone this reckless, this cruel? Not if I have anything to do with it. I can't believe this is really happening. She's gonna kill him. She can't do this to him. He's kept him safe. I knew Joan was willing to fight dirty, but this is taking it to the next level. We gotta be ready to match her game. I think you're right. Javier! I heard you were planning to crash our little party. Why did you come on up here? Show your face to everyone. I'm sure these people would like to hear what you have to say. Don't make me ask twice. Fuck that, and fuck you, Joan. I don't have anything to say to someone who shit talks my family. Don't make this harder on yourself, Javier. Get up here, now. She knows we're here now, we might as well. We both know you killed Dr. Lingard. Why, Harvey? Why would you do that to us? The only surgeon in a hundred mile radius, but you didn't care about that. You thought he deserved to die. Dr. Lingard had a problem. He couldn't stay out of his own supply. He asked me to put him out of his misery. I was only doing what he wanted. Sorry if I don't take your word for it. Too bad you killed the only man who could back up your story. I had a very interesting conversation with your friend, Eleanor, last night. Isn't that right, Eleanor? Oh, shit. That's... that's right. She said you were coming here today to take me out. Add to your total. Don't know how you thought you were going to pull it off, considering it's all of us against the three of you but i guess hope springs eternal eleanor doesn't know what she's talking about she knew an awful lot of details about how you were going to pull it off she was happy to share especially right. after i promised her she could stay in richmond i can't believe eleanor did that to us believe it here in richmond people who put themselves before the group 
don't last long. Bring them out. Get away from me. You're making a mistake. Oh shit, the car. Oh no. They had them this whole time. David wanted to tear this whole place down. He told his people where to find our gun supply, and sure enough, they picked us clean. You really thought you could ride into town and stage a coup? With our own damn weapons? Something like that? I can't just let it go. You've put me in a no-win situation here. So I'm going to do the same thing to you. Both of them deserve to die for their crimes. However, Javi, I'll let you spare one of them. Just one. No! Hell no! Joan! Don't! Not after what they tried to do. You may be guilty of bringing them into this, but they chose to go along with it. If you're going to punish anyone, it should be me, not them. So ready to sacrifice yourself for others. Don't worry, Javi. I'm not through with you yet. Joan, are you sure about this? We never agreed to killing all these people. It's really up to Javi, isn't it? All eyes are on you. Maybe this will help you make up your mind. Boys? Oh, fuck. Come on, Javi. Who's it gonna be? Your friend or your brother's lieutenant? Oh, come on! This is fucking stupid. You can't be serious. God damn you, Joe. Oh, fuck. Do the right thing, Javi. How could you do this? Uh, save Trip. Trip has to live. He's invaluable. Son of a bitch. Javi, what the fuck is wrong with you? You're not making David happy. But I respect you for sticking up for your own people. Shoot him. Wait! I said Trip should live! You did, but there's something else you need to understand. Betrayal. You can't do this! Fucking figures. I can do anything I want. Unstable. You brought this on yourself. Do it. <laughs> Wait! No! No! Oh my god. They really shot Fuck! R.I.P. Trip. Now, David, good, man. it's your turn. Oh. I can't believe this. This isn't how we do things. This is madness. Stop her, Clint. Is this the process you trusted? No. Think about this, Javi. You know what's going to happen here. You ready for that? We don't murder in Richmond. We exile. That's how we've always done things. How about you take David and the rest of your people and just get the hell out? Go far away from Richmond, and then whatever you do is up to you. I'm sure the herd outside would like that. She thinks she's sending us out there to die. She's counting on it. Everybody put your guns away. We're going to handle this peacefully. Ah. Don't listen to them, Javi. They're fucking butchers, all of them. Shoot that bitch. Take her out. She deserves it. If you don't do it, I fucking will. Fuck it, do Who it. Who the hell, Joan? Oh, that's not so good.
Mitch, get back here! Okay, I need you to cover me. We gotta make things right. Okay. Dad needs us. We gotta get out there. He needs you, not me. Go on. Thanks. Get over there before. Puck. Kate. It's like our result. Our choices. Did you promise that you would help Kate with the family if David left? Wow, 91%. Promise you help Kate. How do you respond to Dr. Lingard's request? You oh, 52 assisted in Lingard's suicide. 46% refused to kill Lingard. 1.3 let Clementine decide Lingard's fate. Okay, how are your feelings for her? Mm, 78, not surprising. Shared her feelings. You, just, you tried to say who you did you try to save at the execution? Try to save the trip while well, 41%. Uh, just shoot Joe and take Clint Steele. Fifty-six percent of players chose to shoot Joe. And goddamn right, right through the eye, right through their eye. 